Hello, good day. Today I'll respond to one of the most common questions that I receive. How to choose a course for them, especially when it comes to information management as per ISO 19650. So I responded to this many times before, but I'll try this time to address it from my perspective as if I'm choosing the course for myself. But before to go, uh, before I go into the details of this, I want to highlight two things. When we speak about information management as per ISO 19650, so the most important resources that you should at least read is the standards itself, ISO 19650. So try to get a version of the ISO standard and read it. I know that maybe you will not understand it, but at least to get yourself familiar with the content as a first step. Then the second resource that I really recommend relying on to understand ISO 19650 is the UK BIM framework. It's a free um, set of um, guidance document. Um, it explains the standards, it provides examples, and it's written in um, an easy way from my point of view. So it's worth trying to read the guidance documents of UK BIM framework. It's, um, from my point of view, um, and it's a great resource uh, to uh, understand information management as per ISO 19650. So when it comes to selecting a course in this field, um, you need to understand that mostly there are three types of courses or learning paths available in the market. There are courses that will give you um, a course attendance certificate. I will usually go to this side if I want only the knowledge. There are courses that have after that a certification path, uh, some kind of assessment, and then they give you um, a certification telling that you are certified um, uh, BIM um, uh, informed professional or certified um, project information manager, whatever the title, but it's certified by the organization because they do a kind of assessment to you. And the third type is a master's program. Um, myself, I tried some of the available resources in the market, so I'll start with them. So, um, for example, BRE um, it provides both um, courses and certification paths. So from my point of view, it's the most complete path when it comes to um, ISO 19650 because um, you can opt to take only the courses or to um, continue after that and proceed with the certification path, which we uh, chose from my point of view, um, strict and hard. So uh, when I see someone with this certificate, I understand that he really understand uh, ISO 19650 and he applied it in some projects. Um, the, um, the only um, negative point that I would see in BRE is that if you will take the complete path, it's a bit expensive. Another option is um, the course from uh, Rex RICS, and this one um, give you a course and then you get a kind of um, um, an attendance certificate because it's it doesn't have a real um, assessment before giving you this certificate. There is some quiz at the end of the course but um, it's it's very easy and it's you can always open the course if um, if you don't know the information to respond to it. So it's not strict and it's just multiple choice don't uh, rely on your real understanding to the to the course so it's a good resource if you will use it to get knowledge um, but um, it don't include um, an assessment that will certify you as an information manager another uh, course um, 
that's also available is uh, the one provided by Operon Academy. And the uh, good point about this one is its price. It's the cheapest amongst all. However, um, while it's uh, cheap compared to the others, it also provides um, ex extensive knowledge about um, ISO processes and also the way the course is drafted. It's um, interactive and um, it highlights the main um, um, important uh, things covered by ISO 19650. So I really recommend Oberon Academy uh, course uh, if you if you want the knowledge in um, a good price. Uh, however, the the um, certification path that's available at uh, Operon uh, require a group, and they uh, when you have a group, you can apply for a bootcamp, and after this bootcamp, you can acquire the certification. I didn't um, experience this certification path from Operon, uh, so I'm talking about the course. The course itself is uh, very good. Um, another option uh, is uh, Ziggurat Masters and go to this path if you are looking for a master's degree because the price here is a price of a master's degree and the time that you will need to invest to get this um, degree is the time that you need to acquire any master's degree so um, if you are looking for a course select of uh, any of the other options but if you want master's degree for sure uh, Ziggurat is a good option and the uh, program itself is very well structured and um, also they keep um, listening to feedbacks and keep uh, updating themselves to ensure that they are always um, um, providing the um, um, program as per the latest available technologies and standards and so on so they always keep themselves updated and that's good in in this um, era because um, technology change every day and the BIM world develop day after day so um, uh, ziggurat is good when it comes to a master's degree in BIM um, there are other master's degree I'll, I'll go through them quickly uh, in, in the next section, but um, these four items that I mentioned now are the ones that I tried myself. Then I'll give you some options that I didn't try myself, but I heard good feedback about them. Firstly, um, the courses and certificates provided by BSI. Um, the experts that took these courses recommended it for me, and I think it's also a good option. Another one um, is um, uh, the one provided from uh, Smart BIM Management. Um, also, I listened to, I, I heard uh, very good feedback on this one. And one of the masters also that I keep getting good feedback about is uh, the masters from uh, BIM Plus. So these three, while I didn't throw myself, but I think they are good and worth trying if, if you are looking for a good resource for um, learning uh, BIM from information management perspective. And when it comes to the master's degree, both the one from Zigurat and BIM Plus don't cover the information management only, it covers also other aspects of BIM, including coordination, including modeling and other items. Um, again, back to how I would select out of this, it there is no one solution that fit, that fits all. Uh, you need you are the uh, best one to understand which one will fit you. Uh, firstly, think about the cost. How much are you willing to invest in in this um, learning path? Think about whether you need uh, to be certified or uh, you just need to get a course. Think about whether you need a master's degree or not. So you need to decide by yourself, but I would think first thing about the, the, the certificate, what kind of certificate do I need? And then also I'll check my budget and try to understand um, that 
this learning is a kind of investment um, so sometimes we need to uh, invest in ourselves and keep learning so I always recommend keeping ourselves ourselves uh, updated and learning um, all the time however don't forget the first item I mentioned in this video when it comes to information management you must read the standards and I highly recommend the UK BIM frameworks. Thank you and feel free to send me if you have any clarifications or if you have specific questions that you want me to answer in a similar video. Thank you.